Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Hard West! Uh, first Look Impressions, Episode 2. So, when we last left our, uh, well, actually poor bastard of, uh, of a father, <laughs> he just uh, uh, lost his wife and uh, found her head in a box because of some devil worshippers. Lovely. If only your prospecting was lucky enough you could get to the Oregon Trail again. You and your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. That sucks. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Many years passed, and you grew up. You became a man. After the fight, so the two of you took over the ruined railroad company buildings and tried your hands at farming. Soil was dry, the land was dangerous, uh, you spent ten long years scratching out an existence from the dirt, now you were grown, you figured that the two of you should try for the Oregon Trail again, that's what Mother would have wanted. Gold! Who would have thought you would finally find it here, and just when you needed the cash for your journey? Time to strike it rich and get out of town before the outlaws and madmen showed up. They always do. The masked men controlled all the gold mining. His henchmen sold you a license that lets you run uh, nine prospecting operations. Ooh, what do we have here? Is this a... Yes, this looks like choices here. What do we have here? Mine gold until your license runs out. Okay, where's the mine gold button? I'd like to, I would like to mine gold, please. Let's see, the ugly ditch, the neighbor's house, or the meadow. What's in the meadow? There was a young native woman with a basket picking flowers and carefully selecting herbs. Initially startled by your arrival, she offered you healing herbs for sale. You bought one of the herbs for $35. Um, how many dollars do we have? We have 35 You inspect the basket but decide to seek out healing plants yourself instead or just leave. Do we want to blow $35 on healing herbs? I don't know the, the economy of all this, but why not? Alright, um, the ugly ditch or the neighbor's house? Let's go to the ugly ditch. Everyone said, said they were placed their gold down in the ditch, but most of it were buried deep, deep under hard enough. You rinse the place of gold costing you, you considered unconventional. Yeah, we don't have any money to invest in all this. Let's consider unconventional methods. We're effective but expensive. You first needed to obtain or rent proper tools. Okay, well, uh, let's try the neighbor's house. It looks like nearby farmhouse was inhabited. You paid them a visit. Turned out to be kind people. You exchanged pleasantries, and the customary promises to help one another. More importantly, you met Florence there, beautiful, kind-hearted daughter. All you exchanged were a few glances, but you found yourself smitten. Not interested in prospecting themselves, the neighbors tipped you off to a couple of promising sites. Wow. Thank you, neighbors. From the day you first laid eyes on Florence, she was all you could think about. It wasn't just desire that she inspired in you. It was the way she saw the best in you. The way she made you feel. It's a little disturbing that death is telling me how, uh, how, how, uh, Twitter-pated I'm feeling by this young woman. Alright, let's try this place. The shaft has been thoroughly explore, explored to the hard rock depth. But not, uh, apart from that. Yeah, we, uh, we shouldn't have blown all of our money on that. Let's find a, let's find a mine that we can... Explore without money. Yes, I know. We need proper tools. All right, one of these sites needs to give us some proper tools. Prospector? Alexander been a cold rushing thing. Oh, man. Why did I spend that money? Rich mine that collapsed years ago. Their wives and children decorate the entrance with flowers. Might have been the smartest dude, but you go in. 
reached the first opening and found a skeleton with its legs crushed under a boulder. You wondered he bled out before he died of thirst. His shirt, though stained, is still intact. Good quality. Um, we are going to keep going because we don't have much. Hey, cash received! Next cavern was cramped full of stale air. You found a little gold, but not much. Wounded and wary, you eventually reach the end of the farthest tunnel. A massive stash of gold. Now affected by crack skull. The air must have been poisoned you. Because when you went to pick it up, you hallucinated a tall man in the suit, smiling and smoking. Before turning, he said, Just so we're clear, that's mine. But you can borrow it a while. It was too much. You head back to the surface. As you inched your way back to the sunlight, you hear a run roll rumbling around you. You turn, hands trembling, heavily drops the strut rolling down your face. You just emerge, blinking into the sunlight when the mind collapsed behind you. Well, we have our money now. Let's go to those prospector camps. The pl uh, knowledge of placer gold retrieving techniques. Yes, if we get the master quality, then we can use the techniques and the small amount of money to get more gold. All right, let's actually get some gold. You prospecting, gaining you 42, which profited two bucks. Mine looked hard breath dips. There was probably gold down there. Well, let's get the placer gold then. All right, we get a better profit when we do the placer gold. Ah, but we used up two of our licenses by doing that. So doing the placer gold is what's most profitable for us. All right, let's get the placer gold. And let's try the uh, the non-traditional stuff here. Yep, $39 profit, not bad. Let's see unconventional. Obtain or rent. I guess we don't I guess we need the tools here. All right, let's uh, let's go here, get the placer gold here. We're just picking the low-hanging fruit, but it's profitable. Alright, let's see. Um, are there other gold deposits around here that I can go visit that I didn't see? Or am I just supposed to exhaust the... Uh... Oh, I guess I could go back to the uh, prospector's camp? Or is that not a thing anymore? Did they uh, they pack up and leave? Yeah, here's just the mines. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna have to go at it with uh, with some of the deeper stuff. Hard rock gold. Oh, we got some good stuff there. You excavate the deeper gold, costing you 40. Oh, it got, it's uh, cheaper. Ah, but we only got a little bit. Every nearby homesteads and settlements were raided. Father worried you wouldn't make it on your own. He figured you'd need protection. You disagreed and went along with the decision for the last time. Aha! Trade outpost. Uh, we got three licenses left, and we've already uh, hit this one. Let's check out Ford Shaft here. Let's get the deeper gold. All right, good uh, good deposits there. I'm not going to go for the ultra deep stuff because that seems to be uh, that seems to be the the less uh, effective stuff. So we're going to leave. Go to the damp mine. Oh, we already hit that. All right, fine, we'll do this. Ooh! 
That, uh... That actually went well. Alright, well then, let's just hit this place. Finish our gold rush. And then go see the other places. Six bucks. Training post protector is easier, eager to exchange. All right, what do we need here? What do we got? Ooh, a shotgun. Got all that gold. Let's actually get some stuff here. We got the sturdy shoes uh, from the mine. Uh, 10 gauge double shotgun, sturdy shoes. Bloodstained shirt. Almost new, comes with the blood here. Protects from crippling injuries. Uh, I'll take that. Oh wait, that's that's me. Ah, this is my stuff. And let's see here. Tobacco, dried healing herbs. We already got the sturdy shoes. 10 gauge. Yeah, let's get that shotgun. I like that shotgun. Tobacco. Improves aim. Alright. Dried healing herbs. Oh, geez, I should have bought the dried ones from the shop. These things are infinitely cheaper. Um, let's let's keep all of our stuff here, but we'll we'll trade some cash. Fifty to fifty. Let's trade. All right, we got our shotgun. Mexican said he'd help if you split your gold money with him. He left you a bunch of guns, some empty blessings, and a promise to send Venkira to help you out. Repeater rifle, hey? Eh? Cheech! We got, uh, got a new uh, character in the posse. Well, we can equip him. Is there a way to equip our people? Alright, so we've got our father. He's got his six-shooter. Navy gun, eh? Is that better than the shoot six shooter? Card screen? What is this? What is this madness? It's like a deck of cards here. The Nine of Hearts gives you the ability Artery Shot. If hit, enemy will suffer greatly after taking five steps. Uh, ten of spades. Ricochet. Bounce off one or more ricochet. Oh, bonus ten aim. Yeah, this guy looks like a, he wants to be Mr. Ricochet. Warren. Um, I guess that's us. We'll take the, uh, we'll take the nine of hearts here. And, uh, don't have any other cards, so. Alright, so you've got, you've got that. Let's give you a relic. What's this do this? Grant healing over time to allies and allies in radius. Okay, that works for me. Uh, we'll give you some dried healing herbs. And for us, we'll take a dried healing healing herb. What was this? Six shooter? No, we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the double gauge shotgun. And why not the navy gun? Similar to a regular revolver with bigger slugs and lower capacity. Aha! Alright, we'll take this as our secondary weapon. And then Cheech here. Oh, he's already loaded up. Sawed off Cobra. Western rifle. So he's got his own stuff here. We'll give him some dried healing herbs. Talismans. We're gonna give that to... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna deck out our character here. We'll give him the sturdy shoes, because he's got the shotgun, so we can rush up into into view here. Minus aim, minus sight, minus one. Yikes. Yeah, that was from that mine. Hopefully that goes away. I think it will. Uh, and we're going to give ourselves the bloodstained shirt. Oh, no, we can only give ourselves one talisman. We will give that to our father. I can't. What about Mr. Cheech? There. That was... Okay, we are kitted out, ready to go. Crossroads. That sounds nice and ominous. 
Some folks said just before sunrise there was an electric feeling out in the parked out art earth of the crossroads that kind of makes your hair stand on uh, end, sends shivers down your spine. Some swore they met a man here, well dressed and well spoken, who offered them a tempting deal. He would be a he could make you a powerful in return for a piece of yourself. Oh, that sounds bad. Tipped his hat and then turned his heel and left the crossroads. After a few steps, he had disappeared, although the night was crisp and clear. Hi there, Satan. How's it going, Beelzebub? The blind man. The man's eyes that had been sewn shut with a crude twine. He had sat perfectly still. His gun in his holster. His stash on the ground close to you for minutes. He didn't make a slightest noise and then uttered a single slow sniff. You could have grabbed his stuff and made a run for it, but then there was that gun. Knowing better to meddle in the affairs you don't understand, you greeted him simply and respectfully. Nodding, he blessed you. Yeah, that sounds like tempting fate. Whoop. Homestead. I think we got our bandits were coming. The hour of reckoning. Yep, we uh, well, already did this. Oh yeah, let's get him the repeater ro uh, uh, rifle here. In cash. Just plain cash. Proceed to combat. You're well armed. Defend to, you're prepared to defend your house, home from the bad man. Okay. Let's get to cracking. If Cheech dies, it will cost you 200 bucks. I guess, uh, okay. Alright, this is, um, this is a little bit more extensive here. Now, is there a. Aha! There is the second floor, and there are windows. Alright, which, um, that's our father, that's us. And Mr. Chong here. Yeah, that looks like nice, uh, yeah, Western Rifle. You're gonna go upstairs, Mr. Cheech. That way you don't, uh, cost us money. Can you even go inside, Mr. Cheech? Yes, you can. I guess it'll take him the next move to get upstairs. All right, do we even do we even see where our uh, banditos are? Oop, this is the uh, the little razor cover thing here. I think this is a good thing to do. All right. All right. Any shadows? And are we casting any shadows? We're not. There's a bucket there. Oh, I can use that as a ricochet. Oh, yeah, I gave him ricochet. Right. Good to know. All right, here's me. Yeah, we don't necessarily know where these bastards are coming from, so I don't want to commit too heavily here into going into one form of cover or another. Now we don't need the herbs, don't need the relic. Uh, where's the pass turn button? Because I don't want to leave this cover. Well, maybe I'll s sneak over here. There we go! Oh yeah, there's no overwatch in this game. Uh-oh, that's not good. These are some flankers. Yeah, that was a really lousy shot right there. There's still more people. There's a lot of banditos here. We only see a couple of them. Alright, we're going to move one smidgemeter here. 
and we are going to shoot this dude. Well, bam! Alright, we need to get outside. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to flank us, so we're going to go here. Anybody in range? That's our shotgun. Let's switch our weapon. Oop, there's some there's some guys coming here to flank. I hear him. We might need to get our butts back inside. Well, let's see if Cheech uh, Cheech can help us out. Now he can get his butt upstairs. He's not going to be able to shoot after moving twice, so let's keep him at full cover here. Alright, we don't want us to draw, die, but we now can see these bastards. Oh, I wish I I wish I'd given my character trick sh brief here. Yeah. Artery shot. Yeah, I wish I'd given him trick shot. He'd probably been a, been able to trick shot off of this uh, this pail here and hit one of these bastards. Okay, let's um, let's get back into cover. He's flanking. Yeah, we can't stay in cover forever. This guy's got an eight on him. Trying to hit Cheech all the way up there. Yeah, just saunter. Ouch. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay, uh, Cheech, buddy. You're uh, you're gonna scooch, and you're gonna shoot. Actually, I should have had my character do that. All right, our fa the father needs to. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, he's uh, he's not doing so hot. Uh, ricochet, a fanning. That's uh, that's point blank to this dude, and he'd be defensive from here. So we're gonna do this and just try and murder this guy in the face. We'll do a fanning. Oh. I guess that's what that is if you get too close to somebody. Why can't I? No, no, not shoot. I want fanning. Insufficient action points. Aha. Yeah, he needs two shots. Uh, Dad, you're gonna die. I'm sorry, Dad. Hey, right, he's reloading. He's reloading. And, yep, oh, dad, buddy, you are lucky son bitch. All right, we got to get, we got to get this bastard and he, and dad's in the best place to do that. Uh, Cheech can go murder this guy up here, I think. Well, here, let's try and, let's try and do this logically. Cheech, can you shoot him?
Because if not, uh, you are not useful to me. Shoot, shall do. Cheat. Cheat, you disappoint. Well, I guess we could get our butts over to here, get a better uh, vantage point on the situation. All right, that's not cover, and we can't get too close to him or he'll get a freebie shot on us. Well, here, let's try, uh, let's try us. there um yeah we can get there in one turn and then shoot that bastard over there we got that better movement fifty nine percent chance to hit let's try it got him Okay, um, dear old dad. We want him to become not dear old dead. Yeah, because we still have this guy here. Our best bet is probably to charge him. Is there some sort of cover? Because we don't want Mr. Rifle getting him either. That's gonna, otherwise that would kind of, kind of, kind of... Or we're gonna just have him run away. Well, not run away completely. Um, that's within his range. Yeah, that doesn't look like. Uh... Now this would this table might give me cover. Hopefully he tilts it in the right way, and hopefully I can kill him. And that's... yeah, that doesn't instantly get him in the... Alright, this could kill you, Dad. I'm sorry if it does. Hundred percent. Let's do it! Ah, oh, that only hit him for one? Crap! Sorry, Dad, you are dead. Wide open. Well, crap! I need to do some practicing on this game. <laughs> but that was the second half of our first impression for Hard West. And yeah, this is a freaking hard game. I need to get better at it. Uh, so if you like this episode, if you like this video, if you uh, want to see me actually get better at this and give you guys some strategies and tactics for this game, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.